Hello everyone. What we have here is the rear subframe and drive unit out of Model S Plaid. Do a walk around. You can see here the inverter. These are the, the there's two inverters. This is basically a symmetrical drive unit. There is no differential. It's basically two drive units glued back to back. So there's one motor per wheel, direct drive, no crossover mechanically. It's all done electronically. So you have one inverter and in the sharp eyed among you will note that this is the exact same inverter that's been used from day one on the Model 3 with some internal updates. We'll get to those later. Here's the other inverter. This. Uh, from, as, from my other video, this uh, drive unit has three different oil pumps. One for each motor and then one for the gear train. The suspension also, as I covered in my previous video, is all new for the Plaid. There's three mounts and this is a clamshell design. So we have three large castings or sorry, two large, two large castings, one on top, one on bottom. We got a mount here, mount here, and a mount here. So this is basically two Model 3 motors glued together. It's uh, plumbed the same way. Um, and it has all the basic internal components with the exception of the differential. No differential gear. The high voltage cabling has been switched from aluminum to copper. Model 3 uses the same connectors but with aluminum wiring. One of the calipers has been removed on this side but this side still has it. It's a combination hydraulic and electrically actuated, electrically actuated uh, for the parking brake. Got our stay bar under here. These are the four uh, elastomeric mounts that tie the subframe into the body. There's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, the castings are extremely high quality, hollow. Um, they are made in China, but um, I definitely have uh, haven't seen too many castings of this quality. They're really nice. The suspension arms also are very well done, very heavy, really nice forgings, castings, adjustability. We've got adjustability here, and then adjustability by eccentric bolts um, in the bottom of some of the arms. This is the ride height sensor for the air suspension. What's not shown here is the upper um, combination shock absorber and air shock that supports the suspension. So the suspension is basically unsupported. Um, these are the underside, the two cables that plug into the bottom of the battery. As you can see down in there, we've got our heat exchangers that use glycol to cool the ATF-9 synthetic oil that's in there. And you can barely see there's the other oil pump for this side. And it, again, it's pretty much symmetrical, so same thing on the other side. And uh, this obviously is a unit of uh, four basic bolts and the suspension it drops out two cooling lines two power lines um, some stuff on the side obviously brake lines and then uh, one set of Molex MX 150 data lines and then uh, this is what the inverter looks like you can even see it, it says model 3 on it one thing that's new is this. This is a uh, pyro-driven actuator that is able to sever two phases of the motor windings. And uh, we believe that that is 
in the event of an inverter failure where the transistors and the inverter um, short more than one leg together, that would result in extreme plug breaking in the, in the motor, which could cause a loss of control, especially in a front motor. Um, locking the wheels means you lose steering. So if the TMS320 detects that the uh, silicon carbide MOSFETs here have, have failed, it can blow this pyro, which severs the connection of these two bus bars. These are the three-phase bus bars that bolt into the motor windings inside the motor housing. But other than that, the inverter is uh, largely unchanged. It, it still looks the same, has all the same components. This big um, thermal pad is simply to allow dissipation of the uh, bleed resistors. Bleed resistors are there. So when the high voltage system is shut down, they provide a place to dump the high voltage because there's a, underneath this, there's a very large capacitor. That's the DC link capacitor for um, providing a stiff power supply for the switching transistors. And uh, it's got the same uh, 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs that are centered to the cold plate. Um, I've done a complete uh, review of the inverter before, so none of that's changed. And I guess that's it for a quick, quick look at the Model S Plaid rear drive unit. We'll have more to come on the Tesla Plaid, so please uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification icon and you'll be the first to get a look as I produce these. Have a good evening.